All right, my name is Andrew with Front Range CNC. Today, we're gonna to take a look at our standard 5x10 CNC router. We'll go over the controller. We'll look at some of the features and sizing of the components of the machine. And at the end, give you an idea of what the machine's all about and what our aim is with this particular model. Um, so stay tuned and we'll go through the components. So the first one we'll start with is our controller. Uh, we'll go into more in depth in another video, but this is just a really simple uh, way to see it. So this controller is on wheels. It is a Windows front end and an industrial control back end. So essentially the computer is just there to give you an interface to key in commands that the controller then um, carries out. Uh, things like jogging the machine can all be done here at the controller as well as raising and lowering our dust hood there, as well as moving up and down our pop-up pins. And we'll get more into detail of some of the features of the machine itself. This particular machine is roughly 5,500 pounds. It's got a six zone vacuum table. All of our zones are controlled by the actual controller itself. What that means is there's a zone on the side, a zone on the top, that would be our five by 10. There's four zones that signify the four by eight. And all of the zones are controlled with a touch screen at the controller. So there is no opening and closing knobs or anything like that. It's all done here at the controller. That can also be coded into your program. So an operator doesn't inadvertently forget to open a valve or close a valve or so on. Um, all that's controlled uh, there at the controller. Um, this particular machine features a HSD 951 spindle with an ISO 30 tool holder. The other option would be to get this in an HSK uh, tool holder style. That would be um, completely up to, to you. Uh, this features a brake on the Z motor. So essentially when you turn the machine off at the end of the day, it's going to not lose position by dropping. Um, the other benefit of this machine here is there's absolute encoders on all axes. What that means is that there is no uh, limit switch for you to have to measure off of. The machine always knows where it is. So there is no homing involved uh, in the morning. Um, the other advantage we have is on all three axes, there's automatic lubrication. And what that is, is the controller is automatically lubricating the machine for you. So you don't have to manually um, go to each runner block. You don't have to go to five different locations. You literally just make sure that the reservoir is full of lubrication and the controller does the rest. You don't have to, to worry about any of that. Um, our dust collection system is set up with a few different valves up here that will open and close depending on what you're doing with the machine. So if you are done with the program, it'll actually close that top valve which then allows air to go to the rest of your shop. So this can be uh, helpful if you're running the machine and then maybe running a table saw or something else that's on that same line and you don't want to open and close valves um, all the time. So this features a helical rack and pinion on the Y. And a neat thing about this is there's actually two motors. And this is a setup that you see uh, fairly popular on the larger machines. So there's a motor on each side of our um, bridge and that is basically distributing that weight so that we're able to go fast speeds and still maintain a high amount of accuracy and smoothness rather than have a single motor drive the entire um, bridge. Uh, we've got a ball screw on our Z and another rack and pinion on our X. Uh, the machine travels at roughly 2000 inches per minute and cutting speeds are roughly 1200 inches per minute. Um, to be fair, you, you'll never cut anything at 1,200 inches per minute, uh, but you could. This is also equipped with an automatic tool changer, as well as a tool height measure system. So it's as simple as going to the computer, and in a few clicks, we can note what tool we want to measure. In this case, let's just make that tool one. And the controller will actually uh, go back in this case, it'll put away tool number two for you. And it will then go and pick up number one. All that's done with just a few keystrokes um, on the actual controller itself. So we do offer a few different controller options. Um, this is the Syntec 21MA, and this is paired with uh, Yaskawa servo motors, 
on all three axes. Another option is a Fagor 8058 that would also have a PC front end interface that would allow you to drag and drop programs. Um, if you're used to Fagor, this will follow a very similar um, logic that you're used to seeing as well as uh, uh, screens you're used to seeing. The other option would be a FANUC 0i Model F Plus, and that would come with uh, FANUC servo motors um, as well. And that would be for maybe the more traditional setup if you wanted to have uh, hard buttons, or maybe you're just used to and you already have files that are run using the FANUC. That is an option as well. So there's three different choices, um, and we want to talk to you about it. So, you know, if you're looking at this and you're not sure which one would be best for you. You know, just just give us a call, send us an email, let's talk about it, and we can tell you the pros and cons of each system and where that um, changes. You know, each one is different in terms of pricing as well as the options that it has. Um, but, you know, all of our systems come standard with servo motors and absolute encoders. Um, so, you know, everything we sell is, is going to be of a high quality. It's just really going to vary on what you're used to or or if there's something you're looking for in particular. Uh, so we're located just outside of Colorado Springs, Colorado. Uh, all of your support and questions will come through us directly. Um, so you know, you're always contacting us to, to get help with your machine. Um, if you were to have any kind of warranty or anything like that, it would all come through us. Uh, we do have the ability as well to remote diagnose on the controller. We can also have a tech go to your location if it would require that, although most uh, things that do happen are on the controller. Um, something unique that we have too on the controller is a video library in the controller. And this comes standard on, on all three uh, setups, the FANUC, the Fagor, and the Syntec. And that video library are simple walkthrough videos of why you're getting an error. Most errors are, are really nothing scary. But the first time you see them, they, they can be a, a little intimidating and it's hard to decipher what that means that the machine's trying to communicate to you. So for instance, maybe you get an error that's some kind of a soft limit override. Um, you know, it's, it's, it sounds like a different language at first, um, but we've got videos that just explain to you there, whether it's a Saturday, it's after hours, it's early in the morning, and that video is designed and presented in a way that you don't need experience to understand what it is the machine is telling you and then make an edit and get back to cutting. So something unique that, that we can do is with your machine connected onto a network, we can actually proof your program and send you a file directly to your machine. So if you are um, maybe nervous about learning a new software or perhaps you're a larger company and you've got turnover and, and it's hard to keep that operator there that knows how to make programs for your machine, for your product. You know, we, we've got options where we can actually proof your design on an actual machine, tell you here's going to be the router bits, here's going to be the tooling, put this in position one, this in position two. And we can actually have that program show up here so that all your operators has to do is start running that program. Um, we think this is a huge benefit because this allows you to have uh, more uh, safety in terms of potential turnover. Um, and that will happen. So, you know, if you are the kind of organization that, that thinks uh, it would be best to utilize your machine as a, uh, you know, start cutting kind of a thing and uh, not worry about having someone there that knows how to run the software of VCAR Pro, Fusion 360, you name it, you know, let us know. That is an option we can do. Um, and that, that simplifies things quite a bit uh, for you, the end user. So the design of the machine, there's there's certain components of it that were really important to us um, as we started working through actually getting this here. So um, one important component in our mind was we wanted the fixed linear tool change rack. Uh, we've seen carousels and used them in the past and, and they're great options. Uh, we've just seen too many customers um, hit them or they, they become uh, um, out of sync and now they need to be adjusted. And, you know, with, with the fixed rack, you eliminate um, a lot of those potential uh, problems. The other was that centralized lubrication from a user perspective. We did that because we know that it's it's easy to forget every two weeks or did you do it last week or did the operator do it? Or, you know, or even if you tell your employee and they nod their head and, and really they didn't and you've got an expensive repair because it wasn't lubricated. So that was another thing. We really wanted centralized lubrication. Um, the absolute encoders was another important one. Um, 
the incremental encoders tend to wear out over time. And what can happen is your machine can go to push that piece. And in time, if that becomes moved by a millimeter or so, the machine thinks it's reading off of the wrong spot. And the absolute encoders um, eliminate that as even a possibility uh, at all. Um, for our spindles, we made the HSD951 uh, standard, which is a 10 horsepower spindle with uh, the tool change capabilities. Um, this makes it really simple for you to do tool changes. It's got um, a high amount of torque for most routing applications. And it's just a rock solid uh, brand. HSD is, is really well uh, known. The other thing we wanted to make sure we had from a user perspective was the pop-up pins. And the pop-up pins are in the corner of the machine and they allow you to put a piece of material against it. And why that's really neat is because maybe you're making uh, cabinets and, and you're going through 20, 30 sheets a day. Maybe it's even 10 sheets a day. I mean, it, it saves you time and effort. But the other thing that's really neat is that when you pair the pop-up pins with our service of providing you with programs, this now makes it very easy for us to design and orient fixtures for you to where you will cut your fixture there on site that we'll send you that program for, and you can orient it based on the pins. And, and the reason why that's so neat is because now we can start to make fixtures for you that are small and that are removable so that you're not using an entire sheet for, you know, one part that's that big. Um, that, that was a really, really neat feature that, that, that we thought of, you know, for your benefit. Uh, and the last one I'd say that we have maybe a couple more, but another big one is the table having the vacuum zones on the controller. Um, we've used machines with valves. Uh, it's not an awful experience, but it's not, it's not a good one. Um, and you see a lot of companies are, are shifting towards a more controller driven setup. And so what it is, is underneath the table, essentially imagine there's a valve that opens and closes to each zone. And the other option is to actually open and close the entire vacuum um, to the whole table. So you can leave your pump on, turn it off, take your sheet off, put a new one on and turn it back on and your pump stays on um, the whole time. You're not having to turn things off. And so um, that was something that was really easy. You know, uh, a lot of what we've tried to do with this machine are, are choose things that we know will help you potentially cut more parts. Um, you never know where you are now. You know, maybe now you're upgrading and you're trying to cut a hundred of your item uh, a month, a week. And it's hard to say, I mean, a week, a year could go by and you maybe have the need for 500 parts, a thousand parts, 2000 parts. And so the different features of the machine really allow you to grow into a larger size. And, and we really look at this as a machine that's um, industrial and, and has features that you can scale with. And, and the machine's not going to be the component, you know, potentially holding your production from really, really exploding. Um, and the last thing was the controller, having the PC set up, really simple text. It's easy to understand. Um, this was another really helpful thing um, that we wanted to make sure that we had. And this was something that, that you know, we felt a lot of people would appreciate because it's, um, you know, running a CNC is like anything. It's not incredibly difficult. But uh, until you know what you're doing, you know, it's it's a little bit uh, feel like you're you're walking on eggshells and you don't want to make a mistake and push a button. And um, and having the control screen like this with with clear uh, letters, everything's labeled, everything's, you know, in words you can read and see and touch and it lights up and um, it just makes everything uh, that much easier. So, um, you know, we really hope that that'll help you.